Demetrius Anderson walked out of prison 13 years ago. He had served three years for possessing and passing counterfeit currency, and he says he has led a lot of buying life ever since. But now he may have to go back to prison, all because of a decades-old mistake. A recent audit found that Anderson was mistakenly released and had never served a 16-month federal sentence on a similar charge. Demetrius Anderson joins me now, along with his attorney, Mike Dolan, and also with his Van Jones, host of the Van Jones Show, who brought this story to our attention and is now getting involved. We'll tell you how in, in just a moment on that. Demetrius, you were living your life 13 years out of a state prison. You thought it was all over, all behind you. You got a knock on your door, and it was U.S. Marshals telling you you had to go back. What was your reaction? Devastating. I, um, I thought it was a nightmare, definitely a mistake, because you couldn't be coming for me because I didn't do anything. So, and he didn't give me um, a reason why they were there. It was, you know, I opened my door willingly and it just immediately threw me against the refrigerator and just cuffed me. So I didn't know what was going on. I just knew I was innocent and didn't do anything. And I didn't find out what was what until after they took me. You, know, you thought court. when you walked out of the Connecticut State Prison, that that was it. Correct. That you were done. Correct. You had served your time. Correct. Um, you had, previous to going to state prison, also pleaded guilty to a federal charge, a separate federal charge, similar, yeah, similar yeah. crime, picked up the case, but yeah. different charge. Correct. And you had been sentenced to, what, 16 months in prison for that. Yes. You thought going in that those sentences were to be served concurrently. Correct. But you were wrong. Yes. Mike, how did this happen? How did this happen? Well, apparently um, there was an audit done by the uh, federal marshals down in Philadelphia, and they um, it reveal revealed that he had not been given credit for that time. Um, so they the marshals came to uh, sent a warrant out, and uh, he was taken into custody up here in or in Connecticut. Just to be clear, someone is supposed to do something. If you're going, if you were supposed to go back to jail, you know, in a different place, prison in a different place, a federal prison after a state prison, there's supposed to be communication there so that when you get out, someone comes and gets you. Absolutely. The, uh, you know, the federal system is supposed to send a, a, a detainer letting Connecticut know that he's, he's to report um, or there's to transfer him into federal custody. Uh, the, the state system is supposed to do a, a warrant check, a detainer check. You know, we don't know who dropped the ball. Um, wasn't him. Wasn't Demetrius. It was not him. They blew it. Someone, either the state or the federal government, blew it. And Demetrius, this is an important point I want to get to before I bring Van in. How have you lived your life in the years since you have been released from prison? Like an American law-abiding citizen, doing everything right, working, gainfully employed, involved in my community, involved in my church, found a church home, just doing everything that I was supposed to do. Now, Van Jones, I want to bring you into this conversation because I, I think you all saw this story like so many of us did on the New Haven papers and in the Yale papers. You look at this and you think this runs counter to the idea of the justice, in quotation marks, system that we have in place. Well, I mean, uh, ab absolutely. The, the whole point of the correction system is to correct people. How can you say at this point, 13 years later, this man needs correction? when he's done everything right. Uh, as best we can tell, he, hasn't does, he doesn't even have an overdue library book. If he's li living better than me, he's living better than you. He's doing all the things you want someone to do. And if you're gonna say this person, after 13 years of doing nothing wrong, of rebuilding his life, has to go back and do, and do time, you have literally millions of other people who are out here who are supposed to do the right thing. What's to say that in five years, 10 years, tw 20 years, Somebody's got to go back through the sock drawer and find something to put them back in jail. This doesn't make any sense. Uh, when somebody has actually rehabilitated themselves, that's the whole point. He's already done time for this crime, uh, and he should get credit for that, and he's, he should get, get more credit for 13 years out of trouble. You know the statistics. When people come home from prison, it's the, the vast majority, unfortunately, wind up back in trouble very quickly. He has not been back in trouble for 13 years. The only trouble he is in now is because of a, a bizarre clerical error that could destroy his life. And Van, you worked with Jared Kushner at the White House on criminal justice reform and prison reform. Do you intend to reach out personally 
to the White House I, to see if I, the president I, I, will get involved? I've, I've already done so, and uh, we, we'll see what happens. Here's the deal. Uh, I'm going to personally ask uh, President Trump to do something. I'm going to ask everybody I know in the White House to do something. But I think everybody in America should, should get involved in this case. This is the kind of stuff that's so demoralizing and debilitating for people who are trying. Hey, listen, you literally talk about a role model. This is a guy that everybody coming out of prison hopes they will be. You don't grab your role model and throw your role models in jail. You should put your role models on your shoulders and parade them around. And so I'm going to ask, but, but you know, also uh, cut50.org, C-U-T-5-0-50, uh, uh, cut50.org is doing something. I'm a part of the reformalliance.com. We're getting involved. Please reach out. Help us uh, make this a big issue. It's very rare, obviously, for the president to get involved in something like this. But we think the judges involved uh, should, should give him credit for time served. We think the president should get involved. We think everybody should get involved. Demetrius, you have an April 4th court date. I mean, this is very soon. You could end up back in federal prison in a week. You scared? I'm very scared. I'm very scared. What do you think is going to happen? I'm optimistic that justice will prevail. I still have faith in the judicial system. Um, so I'm just praying and, you know, leaning on my faith that this can be, you know, vindicated.